Yo guys, what's up? So in today's video, we are going to be showcasing the strongest blade in the game, the Dark Blade. So we will be showcasing this in today's video. Stay tuned up till, till, up till the very end to find out everything there is in this sword and to better understand where, whether you should buy it or not. How, however, I think I'll be making a different video for that. Anyways, let's go talk about this sword. So basically, this sword is a game pass and it costs about, um, it costs about 1,199 Robux. And I do believe that it is worth it if you do have the price and you do want to support the game because it is like one of the better um, so, uh, sword designs out there. It is one of the better um, dark blade designs out there. And I really like the way it looks. In my opinion, I really like the way it looks. Um, it's better, I think, than the block suit ones. I think that this one really just is like one of the best designs there could possibly be for like a um a dark blade design and so well, that's why i think it's very good that's why i think it's very very well thought of that's why i think it's very decent and um yeah basically as you can see right here you are already seeing the first moves or the moves of it already but i'll go into detail about the current moves or the moves of it but first let's go about the m1 now the m1 of this is actually quite simple but um, before we go that, let's actually appreciate the sheathing animation. So you can sheath it, and um, it does look very big though. It's almost like bigger than your character, which is pretty lore accurate. And yeah, the sheathing animation is the same as well with all the other swords. I think it's even the same with the katana. Actually, no, it's different with the katana. Yeah, it's different with the katana. But um, what we can notice though is the damage that it does. So for the fishman, uh, sorry, for the normal fishman, um, there's this guy right there. Let's just out here and this guy over here. So for the shark boss, as you can see, 50 damage per M1. 50 damage per M1. You could see that over there. That's 50 damage per M1. If you switch to the dark blade, um, you will notice 75 damage per M1. So yes, you're seeing that right. Um, the dark blade does have more damage than the normal swords. So if you buy the sword, you'll instantly get better damage than other people using swords. And since energy... Um, since energy re recovers fast, you could legit make a sword build early in the game, which is why I think it's pretty cool. By the way, I have like 150 stat points in sword right now. If I put more in, it would do more damage. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun to use the, the sword. Now, let's uh, first talk about the first move. The first move is a pretty long range attack called Dark Slash, where you will attack the enemy with a Dark Slash slashing move from afar. And as you guys can see, I hit the guy from over there. And to further show you and or demonstrate the just the length of this, I will try to run away from them and hit them from here. So boom, and as you can see, it damaged them even all the way there. So that's the first move, the dark slashes. It does have a pretty wide hitbox. You can see how over there uh, I didn't exactly hit them. I hit their side, but it still hit them, so it's pretty fi fire. Now let's go talk about the um, second move, which I think is the move that a lot of you guys would probably be excited for. Now if you talk about the second move, I think this move is just straight up busted for PvE because um, it's legit like super spammable. I don't know how it makes sense for Dark Blade though, since Dark Blade is like pretty big. I don't know how this makes sense. So the second move is Dark Slash. It will have a third move. According to the developers, it will have a third move. But right now, those are the moves that we have. And Dark Slash is just amazing, in my opinion. Dark Slash, just especially if you group your enemies together, if you group your um, your um, mobs here together. Let's try to do that. Like I say, for example, I group the mobs together. Let's see um, how much damage I will do to them. So X, and as you can see there, boom that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage right there so those are the two moves of um of uh the dark blade i could try and do it try and use it in like some pvp scenarios since pvp is a thing in this game however it's not that well thought of but yeah um that's gonna be dark blade i tried to put in some clips there as well while, while i was talking but yeah dark blade is pretty cool i think i would say dark blade is like pretty worth it if you have the robux for it and you do want to play the game it does have good pvp moves good pve moves it's the best one right now and i want to show you guys again just how good the hitbox is on this one so i'm right here and i just hit from over here and look at that it hit even the guy over there you could see just how huge that hitbox is that hitbox right there guys is huge and the cooldown is also quick and you can see watch this bam so the hitbox is that big basically it's that big which is why it does so much that which is why it hits so many people or npcs it's just super crazy 
Anyways, guys, as I'm ending this video, I would like to talk to you guys about the Dark Blade. Do you think the Dark Blade is worth buying? Put your comments down below, guys. Now, put your comments in the comment section down below. Do you think the Dark Blade is worth buying? For those who have Dark Blade, do you think it's worth buying? Would you recommend it to others? Because I personally would if they have the Robux for it. Now, if you don't have Dark Blade, do you want to get Dark Blade? And why and why not? Why or why not? Now, that's going to be guys for today's video. I think personally, Dark Blade is a very cool sword, as you can see right here. And I want you guys to uh, see how good it is. But yeah, um, if you really want to experience how good it is for in the game, just, you know, go buy it if you have the Robux for it. Hey guys for watching. Peace out and see you guys in the next one.